inevitably we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little while. I'm gonna talk a little while. So recently I've been uh, reading Abraham Lincoln's, uh, it's called Sense of Humor by Abraham, like Abraham Lincoln's Sense of Humor. And the book is basically talking about how our president did not only have a good sense of humor, but it was quite dark and crude. And it's something that a lot of us wouldn't really expect from uh, a man from a high position of power. But nonetheless, some of our most intelligent people on earth have a dark sense of humor. And that's something that we tend to not gravitate or tend to not realize, but it's quite true because how else are you gonna cope with life and its pain and and quite, uh, you know, dreadful circumstance of living? I mean, sometimes just by laughing at our pain and, you know, inevitably, I, I think that's kind of human of us. So laughing at it and, you know, it's, it's not only a coping mechanism, but I guess it's also a way of us living better if we can just laugh at even our even at ourselves sometimes like i can laugh at myself sometimes i can say adrian you are an idiot sometimes or you can say the things that you do are stupid and i i i agree i can be lazy sometimes i can do dumb things but does that make me an entirely shitty person no it's just it's just like parts of me that you know that that's part of my character it's not all bad about me but i do have my you know i have bad i i do have my uh what's the word Un underfalls where right? i do have my weaknesses but and inevitably i do have my strengths too so you know it's 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 part of the coin and going back to lincoln yeah the, the dude had a, a wicked sense of humor he would make fun of himself quite often and also use humor in the sense that it sheds light towards the truth so there would be circumstances where he wanted to point out the truth, but when you point it out so bluntly, it comes out as um, as aggressive. So what he would do, he would joke. He would joke about the opponents and his adversaries and ideas that he didn't agree with. So he would use a lot of uh, analogies to compare them with. Uh, overall, it's a great book, and he had a dirty sense of humor, and I loved it. You know, this guy, this guy's like he's a common man, and common men make dirty jokes. That's pretty much the circumstances. And also, have been playing a uh, Super Smash Tourney uh, for the past morning, and it's been crazy because these guys are killing me in the first round. And I would assume I was a great Smash player, but these guys. Uh, remind me that I am not only do I suck but um, I'm not the best player and you know that's that's a shot to my ego because you know I think every person wants to be feel like they're the best at whatever they do and once you get shot off them like half across the stage it reminds you a little bit of humility like wow I suck I, I am I am a person I am normal right and yeah those that's that's been my day to day and also i've been you know i've been washing i mean i've been gardening i've been helping out and, and you know i think where i um where i mess up is i complain too much and i do complain too much but i feel like sometimes i need to just do things and not you know not bitch about them so I'm gonna go back to my questions prior to yesterday and I'm, I think I'm only gonna do 10 questions because the editing is hell. So I'm gonna cut it off and maybe do 10 questions. See, normal things become really weird if you put, I, I did that one. <laughs> um, I know where you live. What is something that you just recently realized that you're embarrassed you did? You didn't realize earlier. In one of my videos, I said it was March, uh, you know, I put like a year back instead of 2020. I said, I think I said March 4th, 2019. I, I put a, another date that it wasn't. And then the very next day I woke up with the sensation of like, you know, that video felt kind of wrong. What what did I say or would do that wasn't right? That was kind of embarrassing. Um, finding things at the last moment. Finding things when you... What are some fun and interesting alternatives to war that countries could settle their differences with smash brothers 
boxing, um, soccer, uh, what else? Um, debates, maybe, you know, I think sports would be a great alternative. Video games, too. Settle, settle it <laughs> on the video games. What are some fun and interesting alternatives? I already did that one. Wow. Talk about being point. Talk about paying attention, Adrian. What would be the best worst name for different types of businesses? Dry cleaners, amusement parks. What would be the best worst name for different types of businesses? But I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm thinking about war as um, profiteering. I, I don't know. Read. Who do you know that really reminds you of a character in a TV show or a movie? Hmm. My mother reminds me of Francis from Malcolm in the Middle. What would be the world be like if it was filled with males and females copies of you? Um. <laughs> yeah, I think one is enough of me. And female copies, no. Yeah, you don't want a female copy of me. That's too much. What are some things that are okay to occasionally do, but definitely not okay to do every day? Drink. Maybe, um, wow, I am a boring person. I don't know. What would be something that would be, maybe maybe making these videos all day, because they are kind of like, it's it takes a toll on like trying to make them. So, you know, there's that. If you're arrested with no explanation, if you're arrested for no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Tax frauds or something. Or I, I took money out of the bank or something money related. Definitely. All the way. You're a mad scientist. What scientific experiment, scientific experiment would you run if money and ethics weren't an issue? Maybe creating superior intelligent beings. Trying to make our like species like stronger and smarter. That's highly unethical, right? <laughs> That's why it's called a mad scientist. What are some fun ways to answer everyday questions like, how's it going? Or what do you do? Not much. Or I just say, eh, you know, same shit, different day. Or, um, eh, you know. Yeah, I like using that one. Same shit, different day. Or, um, you know, the daily grind. Or, you know, just living. Yeah, I like using that one. Just living. If someone asks you to be your apprentice and learn all that you know, what would you teach them? Being other people and, you know, being a decent human, even though sometimes <laughs> I break the rules of those. If your five-year-old self suddenly found themselves inhabiting your current body, what would your five-year-old self do first? Um, he would be going like this on his lower back because he would be tripping out on how much pain there is there, and he would also be tripping out on the forearm tattoo. You just probably, he'll probably be looking at it and was like, "Whoa, this is cool." <laughs> but yeah, that's that's about it for this episode. We're cutting it off. Take it easy, guys. See you next video.